So once we set this up, the Black Scholes model in Excel and have performed the manual calculations, uh, next logical step would be to automate and to set the formula uh, out in terms of macro or in terms of VBA code. Um, I've already done that in another spreadsheet, um, so I can take the code from uh, a module in another spreadsheet. So we could take the code from here, just uh, copy, and go into uh, the existing spreadsheet. Pull this across a little bit just to view in the Explorer and our workbook is the actual simple implementation so we'll insert here insert a module and we put the code and um, the code here is based on the black scholes formula so if we just take uh, d1 and d2 well, D1 and D2, we can see how it corresponds to uh, D1, as set out here, and D2. So D, D2 is D1 minus sigma square root of T, D1 S divided by natural logarithm S divided by K plus R negative Q half of sigma squared, all of this multiplied by t, close out the brackets, and divided by sigma. So that's familiar. Uh, it's d1. And then nd1 is, because that function already exists in Excel, VBA allows us to call up that pre-existing function, so we don't have to write an algorithm that works out non probability. We can just leapfrog on existing an existing uh, function that currently exists in uh, Excel. Uh, so it's applications norms this D1, referring back here, and then D2, likewise. And so when it comes to working out the value of the call, it's a very simple manipulation of um, ND1, ND2. We're taking the product of the stock e negative qt by nd1 and we're subtracting away the exercise e negative rt nd2 and the nd2 being the norms this or the norm cumulative probability of d2 so if we take the function vs call we can go back into our spreadsheet and <coughs> can verify the result here so for instance or here so the call using VBA can be estimated so we just say equals and paste so 41k is 40 r is the risk per rate q is 0 time period was equal to six to three months and sigma is equal to 20, 30 percent here and we'll hit return and we get the same result and if we now we want to get the value of the pot VBA we could use put call parity and um, what I propose to do is just rewrite the function so function copy and just make a few simple amendments or refinements so edit and paste and I'll call this P so that's the function name and likewise down here I have to change the function name so um, not much has to change in fact uh, we obviously need if we go back to uh, the function here, we can see we have to reverse the order of S and X. So going from C to P, S is written up. So this set of terms are written here. This product is put here. 
and we change the sign in front of the D1 and the D2. Um, okay, so the uh, first change we might make here is we have N, N, and N, N, and we change D1 to be negative D1 and D2 to be a negative D2. Then we take this first term, we cut and remove a negative, and then we paste. paste so that we have negative e negative qd s nd1 and to make this negative nd1 to be n negative d1 and likewise here we make the adjustment here and so this function should now work so we can go and check so we'll copy the function edit copy go back into the spreadsheet and say equals home paste and again s k r in fact r should be in eight percent q zero percent sigma the volatility at the underlying thirty and the time period equal to 25, so three months, and it return, and it's 160, which corresponds to the same value here. So it looks as if we've written both of these functions uh, correctly, and we have, we're getting the same results. So using VBA, it would appear that the functions for BSP for the put and BS, BSC for the call uh, both are giving us results to correspond with the manual calculations we had done previously. Uh, to save our work here, um, go back into Excel. We should file, say, once we've written code in VBA, we have to be careful that in order that the code is there next time we, we open the spreadsheet up, spreadsheet up, that the Excel is saved as an Excel macro enabled workbook. Okay, so we save that, and we have the extension to this file um, will be different to reflect the fact that it's uh, VBA, there is live VBA code. Um, we could stress test a little bit our results so if we copy home copy paste result back in perhaps remove these other variables these uh, formulas and so on we could have a look a little bit closer at the detail what if we changed the values here um, so time period was one year, risk period rate equal to 5%, uh, zero, 0, 0.2, okay, we get a set of values that still corresponds. So the call here is manually worked out or using VBA, same basic values, the put values, Can changing the results, changing the parameter inputs, all correspond to be the same thing. And of course, that's further evidence that the VBA code is being implemented correctly. And that means also that we can remove, if you like, we can remove these. The advantage of VBA is that we can remove the inputs, the uh, ND1, ND2. And so we have a very streamlined spreadsheet where all we need to input in are these parameters. And the results that come out are values for the put and the call. And that 
efficiency gain is efficiency in terms of space, but also uh, reduces the likelihood of um, errors arising because of re-entering in ND1, ND2 uh, formulas. If we were to look at the black Scholes time value, we could set that up, we could consider the black Scholes parabola using a data table. And what we might consider here is removing the description of the parameters and just take uh, the cell B8 and so D3, D2 equal to B8. And so it's the same value and we could insert a new column and then consider a range of values. So we don't want 10%. So we'll have to change uh, the format here to general and we go 10, 20, okay, 10, 20, and pull this down till we get to 190, and then uh, rerun the estimation for each of these values here. So we could say data what if analysis, data table, it's a column of data, so we pick the option for the column, and then what in the original parameter inputs is the related to the stock price. So I'm rerunning the same estimation for the value of the call calling up the VBA function, but for each of these S values. So click OK, and it generates. We might reformat this to remove uh, the color, so no fill. And to graph that, just go to Insert, Scatter, pick this option here. And what we have is basically a black show, so we could edit this. And it's black shows parabola. And click OK. OK. And what might be noticed as we change original parameter inputs, the shape of the parabola also changes. So if we change this to 20% or to 10%, the parabola tends to contract. If we increase the time period to two years, the parabola tends to also increase, but not all, completely in every circumstance. Tends to fall if we reduce the maturity. If we increase the volatility, it's a monotonic relationship. So the value, if we, inc if we reduce the volatility, the value tends to fall, so on. So that provides us with a means to efficiently evaluate the effect of changing parameter values on uh, using black shows on the value of the call and on the value of the pot.